Welcome back, everybody. Diabetes is a very complicated and dangerous health condition. It could even put someone more at risk with COVID. So I spoke to Southwest Medical to learn more about diabetes and how they can help. We're educating the community on diabetes because some people obviously know what it is, but they don't know the basics of it. So let's break it down. Let's do it. All right, so diabetes is a serious chronic illness affecting somewhere around 10% of our population. But um, an interesting statistic that I read recently, uh, the CDC is estimating that one in three children born today will develop diabetes in their lifetime. Wow. So in 20 to 30 years, one third of our population is going to have diabetes. So obviously it's a serious health problem um, and we need to be taking steps to prevent it now. Uh, so diabetes is a disease where the body is unable to properly regulate blood sugar. So instead of the sugar going into the cells where it can be used for fuel for your body, it remains in the blood causing what we call hyperglycemia or high blood sugar. So your blood is supposed to throw, flow through all of your arteries and veins like water through a pipe system. And that pipe system delivers all of your nutrients, all of your oxygen, everything that your body needs to all of your cells. So when your blood sugar is really high, instead of the blood flowing through those pipes like water, it's flowing like syrup. And we always hear about type one, type two. So what are the different types of diabetes and, and the comparisons between the two? So type one diabetes is actually an autoimmune disorder. So it's where your immune system develops these antibodies. We're not sure why, we really don't know what triggers it but the body uh, develops these antibodies that go in and attack the pancreas and make it unable to produce insulin. Type two diabetes, there's no autoimmune issue and the pancreas usually still produces plenty of insulin, especially when you're first diagnosed, but the body can't use the insulin effectively because the body becomes resistant to the insulin. Uh, so it's a genetic disease usually, usually runs in families, but it's exacerbated by having excess body fat, eating an unhealthy diet and living a sedentary lifestyle. So that's why it's so important that everyone go in and get regularly tested, see their doctor at least once a year, because a lot of times you don't know that you have type 2 diabetes until you get tested. And then there's a third type of diabetes that is gestational diabetes, uh, which only occurs in pregnant women. It usually goes away once the woman delivers, but it puts that woman at higher risk of getting type 2 diabetes and also the child at, get, um, at higher risk of getting type 2 diabetes later in life. And what are the symptoms? If people do get symptoms, um, the symptoms are going to the bathroom a lot. Your, blood sh your body's trying to get rid of that sugar any way it can. And one of the ways it does that is by making you kind of pee it out. So patients will start urinating more frequently. They'll be really thirsty um, because they're losing a lot of fluid. Uh, like I said, they may feel very hungry or just never satisfied with food or they may crave sugar a lot. They may be extremely fatigued. Um, they'll get blurred vision. And then another way people are diagnosed is if they get these cuts and bruises or if they're sick a lot and they're just not healing. Because like I said, diabetes makes it harder to treat infections. Southwest Medical Associates has locations across Southern Nevada. Just call them at 702-877-5199 or visit smalb.com.